It's pretty wind scoured up here. We're trying to ski Sugarloaf. We've lived here pretty much all our lives looking at it and this is the first time we've had repeated snowstorms that might actually give us enough of a base to ski, so. It has been a huge winter in Boulder this year in the Front Range. We are on the top of Sugarloaf Mountain, right outside of town, and my buddies are gonna ski down Sugarloaf Mountain. We're gonna see if it's possible. So come with us, we're going on a little adventure. Here. We got to readjust the bindings here. I think we may be looking at a pretty bad idea, <laughs> but uh, I don't have a problem with following through with it. The uh, snow is rather patchy. We've had a lot of wind lately, and uh, we may be lacking snow in areas that we need. Oh, uh, and snowboards need snow, right? It makes it a lot better, definitely. <laughs> this is a very cool tool. It's an avalanche transceiver. And here. even though the snow is really very sparse, it's got a lot of layers in it, and I don't know, it could slide. Since we have the gear, we might as well bring it. If anything, rock skis are gonna be the most useful tool. I see you're wearing a helmet. I am, you never know what could happen up there. I don't really see this as very dangerous. Everybody else seems to think, though. I don't think so. I think they're just worried that their boards are gonna get ruined. How is it hiking in boots like that? These boots actually are designed for hiking a little bit. They have a Vibram sole. So as opposed to a normal ski boot that's just got plastic slipperiness on the bottom, these actually have a little bit of traction. Dun, 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 Captain America! All right, let's go! Is that where we're going? Yep. Okay. Not seeing a whole lot of snow. Yeah, the avalanche conditions look pretty good through here though. <laughs> <laughs> it's about an inch deep right here. mountain burned up and that's why there's really no trees and the shape of it really actually does look like a sugar loaf I think it's awesome mountain and I'm hoping because there's not a lot of trees it'll mean better skiing but we'll see back there it didn't look like we could ski it but that's how it is out here in the Rocky Mountains. A lot of times the wind will just claim it all to one side of the slope. And uh, yeah. That's where we're headed. Pretty much you gotta ski drifts down. This is the one side we haven't seen and none of the other sides look very good. So let's go look at it. That face is what we'll take down and we'll come out above Wall Street. Yeah. Kiala 
is a monk. It is not warm up here. Do not be fooled by the blue sky. Yellow has two towels and a balaclava. over here doozer that's gold hill this little town just over that ridge there got a one-room schoolhouse is where I grew up so you can see we could see this pretty much my entire childhood and every once in a while there get some snow I've always wanted to be up here and finally getting the chance all right Paul should we do this yes let's do it boys do it Up here we got Sugarloaf. I don't know, 2,000 feet above us. At this Stay point, out. yeah, it's a good long ski. We ski down that ridge. You can see all the way down through this valley here and down out. A little bit of a hike right back to the road. No problem.